Many animals, including mammals, insects, and reptiles, instinctively do the play dead trick when they feel threatened. This is a survivability mechanism and is mainly seen in the animal kingdom's lower rung. It can also be observed in higher order animals too. When in an aggressive situation, animals may exhibit the behavior of playing dead so as to not seem threatening or vulnerable. Playing dead can often be used as a way to catch prey or confuse their predators. Snakes sometimes pretend to be dead when they sense danger. The eastern hogmouth snake resorts to playing dead when other defensive displays, such as hissing and puffing up the skin around their head and neck, doesn't work. These snakes turn their belly up with their mouths open and their tongues hanging out. They also emit a foul-smelling liquid from their glands that deters predators. Certain animals play dead as it defines against predators. Entering into emotionless catatonic state often dissuades predators as their instinct to kill drives their feeding behavior. Since most predators avoid dead or rotting animals, displaying thanatosis, in addition to producing foul odors, is enough to keep predators at bay. Equally, the number of times that an individual can remain static is unpredictable, and not only long. This means that it will be difficult for a predator to predict when a prospective prey item will make a movement, thereby attracting its attention and becoming a meal to feed on. Even so, the University of Bristol has recorded a single ant lion larva fanning to be dead for an outstanding 61 minutes. Charles Darwin documented a beetle that remained static for 23 minutes. Beasts of prey are hungry and cannot wait for long. Likewise, prey may be missing chances to move on with their lives if they chose to remain motionless for a long period of time. So faking death might be best seen as a deadly game of hide and seek in which prey might win most by faking death if the predator's alternative victims are available. The animal most commonly associated with playing dead is the possum. In fact, the act of playing dead is sometimes referred to as playing possum when under a thread, possums can go into shock. Their heart rate and breathing is reduced as they fall unconscious and become stiff. By all appearances, they seem dead. Possums even excrete a liquid from their anal gland that mimics odors associated with death. Possums can remain in this state for as long as four hours. Some birds can play dead when threatened by an animal. Wait until the animal has lost interest or is paying less attention, then jump to life and escape. This behavior has been observed in quail blue jays, different species of ducks and hens. When under attack, young fire ant workers of the species Selenosis invicta play dead. These ants are defenseless, unable to fight or flee. Ants that are just a few days old play dead while ants that are a few weeks old flee and those that are a few months old stay and fight. Also, if you've not done so already, please subscribe to our channel and click that notification bell to get inspired by these animal stories every day. Now, back to the story. Some beetles pretend to be dead when they encounter predators such as jumping spiders. The longer the beetles are able to feign death, the greater their chances for survival. Some spiders pretend to be dead when facing a predator. House spiders harvestmen, daddy long leg spiders, huntsman spiders, and black widow spiders are known to play dead when they feel threatened. Sexual cannibalism is common in the insect world. This is a phenomenon in which one partner, typically the female eats the other before or after mating. Praying mantis males, for example, become motionless after mating to avoid being eaten by their female partner. Sexual cannibalism among spiders is also common. Male nursery web spiders present an insect to their potential mate in the hopes that she will be amenable to mating. If the female starts to feed, the male will resume the mating process. If she does not, the male will pretend to drop dead. Should the female start to feed on the insect, the male will revive himself and continue to mate with the female. This behavior is also seen in the Pesoro mirabilis spider. The male offers the female a gift during a courtship display and copulates with the female while she is eating. Should she turn her attention to the male during the process, the male feigns death. This adaptive behavior increases the male's chances of copulating with the female. Animals also use thanatosis in order to trick prey. Livingstoni cichlid fish are also called sleeper fish for their predatory behavior of pretending to be dead. In order to catch prey, these fish will lie down at the bottom of their habitat and wait for a smaller fish to approach. When in range, the sleeper fish attacks and consumes the unsuspecting prey. 
Some species of sulfate beetles also use thanatosis to get a meal. These beetles pretend to be dead, are carried away by ants, and are taken home by the ants to feed on their pupae. Once inside, the beetle wakes up and feeds on them. The research released today in Science Biology Letters Journal included evaluating the advantages of faking death in terms of when a predator is visiting a small population of notable prey scientists use computer simulations that harness the theorem of marginal value, a model of classical optimization. Professor Nigel R. Franks, study lead author from the School of Biological Sciences, University of Bristol said, imagine you are in a garden full of identical soft fruit bushes. You go to the first bush, initially taking and eating fruit is easy and fast, but as you enter the bush in search of more fruit, it becomes harder and harder and also consumes time. At some point, you should make up your mind to go to another bush and search a fruit. You are greedy and you want to consume as much fruit as possible. We use this method to determine a small bird visiting patches of obvious ant-lion pits and show that ant lion and larva that waste most of the predator's time by faking death if they are dropped change the game outstandingly. In short, the predator would give up looking for them if they took even more time to do nothing. This means that the antlion larva should wait as long as possible before attacking because it would not win a fight. In this arms race between prey and predators, the faking of death has been elongated to such a degree that its correction is barely possible. Professor Frank has said that playing dead is like playing a conjuring trick. Magicians use this to divert the attention of an audience from what they are doing by telling them to look elsewhere. Once the prey falls over and appears to be dead, the predator usually leaves. Playing dead can appear to be a good strategy for staying alive.